So today I want to talk about derivatives. And you know, you may understand what a derivative is or or know what how to calculate one. Um if I tell you, you know, dy by dx, you differentiate your function, right? But I'm going to show you how I understand the derivative. Okay, we're going to derive the derivative. Okay, so let's think about a graph. Okay, we'll draw our axes and we're going to have to label these guys y and x. And we're going to put a curve on these axes. And let's let's make this curve more complicated. You don't want any cheats. Let's imagine that we had a picture of this on our phone, okay? Um, and it's you know it's a brand new smartphone, and it's basically magical, okay? And this smartphone has an infinite pixel density. It can zoom in infinitely far. So if you grab your two fingers and you go like that, we'll zoom in infin infinitely far on the point. So let's pick a point. Let's go here. Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit. We're going to get something that looks like that, with this being our point. Okay. And, you know, now we can get a pretty good idea of what derivative is. It's, you know, looks something like that. And we can take we can take delta y and delta x and you know, that's probably going to be about right. But we're not looking for about right. We're not physicists here. We're mathematicians. And we have a magical mathematical phone. And we go infinitely far. And when we go infinitely far, we can't really have a change in x, right? I mean, if you imagine all the x is happening over infinitely far, so between zero and one, infinitely far. Between zero and a half, infinitely far. And we've got, in our, on our phone screen, we don't actually have any change in x. And because y is defined in terms of x, then we don't have any change in y either. So what do we have? Well we have dy by dx, we have our magical infinite. And what does this look like? Well, we don't have a change in x, so we have a straight line. And what does our straight line look like? Like that, like what the tangent would have been. Or in fact, it is the tangent at that point. And that's how I always understood derivatives. It's like zooming in infinitely far on your function at every point on the function and then sketching all of your delta y's dy by dx's on a new graph. Uh, so what would it like? If we sketch it here, it's probably something like mm, and then Mm, and then mm, going up and then going, going crazy. Yeah? So this was this is what we plot if we were to take every single point. Thank you very much.